लिवरेज रिड्यूसिस आर कारपोरेट फर्म्स टैक्स ऑब्लिगेशन एंड दैट रिडक्शन इन टैक्स ऑब्लिगेशन अलाउज द फर्म टू पे मोर ऑफ इट्स अर्निंग्स टू इट्स इन्वेस्टर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैश फ्लोज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द इन्वेस्टर्स ऑफ द फर्म वंस दे रिसीव कैश फ्लोज फ्रॉम द फर्म आर रिक्वायर्ड टू पे टैक्सेस ऑन दीज कैश फ्लोज एज द पर्सनल इनकम दिस मीन्स दैट इफ आर डेट होल्डर रिसीव इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम द फर्म then he is required to pay tax on this interest which is treated as his income similarly when a uh, when an, an equity holder receives dividend and capital gains he is required to pay tax on these two items which are now treated as his personal income now let's see that how these additional taxes would have consequences for the value of the firm so how personal taxes can be incorporated into the interest tax shields we see that a firm's value is equal to the cash that it can receive through the issuance of the securities now the money that is paid by investors to purchase securities from the firm that money is subject to the cash flows the investors receive from the firm after payment of taxes on these cash flows by that particular firm this means that the personal taxes reduces the firm value whereas the interest tax shield is in this particular case is not subject to the total taxes that is the corporate taxes and the personal taxes potentially the personal taxes can offset the benefit of corporate taxes uh, of the leveraged policy this means that the interest income may be taxed more heavily than the capital gains from the equity transactions the tax benefit of leverage should be determined through the evaluation of both the taxes that means we must consider the corporate taxes and the personal taxes in order to determine the benefit of the leverage for that purpose uh, we have an example where we have a 1 habit that can either be paid to the debt holders as interest or it can be paid to the equity holders as dividend now how these this income can be taxed on the right side we have a comparative table where we have after tax cash flows and the value that we will be determining using current tax rates for debt holder we see that the after tax cash flows are equal to 1 minus tax on personal income and this gives a net after tax cash flows to the debt holders at their personal level equal to 0.604 and for equity holders the after tax cash flows are the product of 1 minus corporate tax rate and the 1 minus tax on their equity income so this gives a net after tax cash flows of 0.52 and if we uh, compare these two net cash flows in relative term we see that the effective tax benefit for the equity holders is 13.9% this means that the equity holders in this case are receiving after tax a lesser amount than the debt holders this also show that the personal tax reduces the debt tax benefit for the equity holders from 35% to 13.9% paying an amount of interest after deducting the relevant uh, relative tax effective tax benefit to the debt holders this would be equal to the amount after tax profit paid to the equity holders this means that the product of 1 minus effective tax rate and the 1 minus 
पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट टैक्स रेट वुड बी इक्वल टू दिवान माइनस कारपोरेट टैक्स रेट ए मल्टीप्लाइड विद दी वन माइनस इक्विटी टैक्स ऑन द इक्विटी इनकम एंड इफ वी डिटर्मन द वैल्यू ऑफ इफेक्टिव टैक्स एडवांटेज और वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन टू डिटर्मन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी स्टेरिक विच इज द आफ्टर टैक्स इफेक्टिव टैक्स बेनिफिट ऑफ डेट सो the t steric would be equal to the one min uh, the product of one minus corporate tax rate and one minus uh, equity tax divided by the one minus personal income tax and in the absence of any personal tax or the equality between the uh, personal tax rate and the equity tax rate this t steric or the effective tax advantage of the debt would be equal to the corporate tax rate and if the equity income is taxed less heavily this means that the, uh, the tax on personal income is greater than the tax on equity income then the effective tax benefit of the debt would be greater than the corporate tax rate Now, how the interest tax shield will be valued in the presence of personal taxes? For the effective tax benefit of the debt, if it is greater than zero, then despite any tax disadvantage of the debt at the personal level, a net tax benefit for leverage will occur. And for permanent debt. the firm value with leverage will be equal to the sum of unlevered firm's value and the uh, interest tax shield by of debt by the effective tax benefit of the leverage so personal tax advantage of debt generally implies that the uh, effective tax benefit of debt is lesser than the tax on uh, on personal income this means that it will also reduce the uh, leverage benefit and with the personal taxes the firm's cost of equity and the cost of debt will adjust to compensate the investors for their respective tax burdens and we will see that the personal tax advantage for debt causes wake to decline more slowly with the leverage